Good morning, it's February 22nd, 2022. Several years ago, I took a video across Ellison Ridge, what it looked like it was like 2013, prior to MVP destroying the roads. So it's a little rainy this morning. So let's take it, you might want to turn the sound down on this because it'll be noisy. But uh, here we go, I'll talk when we get to the other end. So here we go up Ellison Ridge. On second thought, you might want to listen to the what I have to say. So here we go. This was a paved road. So the pavement's going here. This is not too bad right here. And uh, there's a pop -up. So basically from here, the pavement ends. It used to go all the way to my house. You'll see all these potholes here in the road. They're not full of water yet, but I'll uh, take pictures of that later. More potholes, the pavement's gone. Lots of holes, lots of pavement holes. Yeah. Yeah, I can see the car rocking as I go across the potholes. So they destroyed this. They did do some work to it in 2019. They graveled it. There's been no gravel put on it since then. It's been almost three years now. The state put a little bit here last. the end of the pavement right the pavement ended up here about right here so uh, there was no pavement here this has always been this way and then we'll go on up to the, we'll go up to the pipeline crossing now this was not a paved road here it was a gravel road and it's not I'm gonna turn around here. Sorry for the shaking. This. I'll turn around here and I'll keep the camera on the inside of the car this time. And, uh, so here we're at the crossing and we'll head back. Like I said, uh, they haven't really done a lot to it. The state did do a little work to it last summer. Uh, needs gravel. 2019, it got awful. Need gravel. Need some more gravel on the road. Here. This was not a paved road. You see my mask laying up in the front of the car window. So this little section here probably just needs a, probably just needs gravel. Like I said, uh, 
they destroyed the pavement uh, in 2018. We did make them. Uh, there's the big truck I had to I had to buy to move the rocks. And uh, so here you see the. Now you can see the. This is where the pavement used to begin. You see the big potholes there. I'll try to miss them. This is all pothole here. Lots of potholes right along here. No pavement, pavement's gone, been gone for a long time. I know it's a little shaky, I'm driving and holding the camera with one hand. Right here in front of my uncle and aunt's house. Uh, lots of potholes here. It's really, this might be the roughest section other than right down the road here. See all the potholes there. As you see the camera bouncing around and hit the potholes. Uh, no potholes down through here. There does need a pavement that does need to be replaced down this hill. But no pavement whatsoever here. They destroyed this pretty quickly. A lot of potholes through here. That was one of the reasons why the pavement was put here is because we can't keep these potholes out of this road. We're so close to the rock. Lots of potholes here. Pavement missing. Potholes over there. And a little bit of pavement here, but it's been broken up and mashed and needs to be leveled up. It's pretty rough. Potholes on the corner there. And then right down here, a lot of potholes through here. Pavement's about half gone. Uh, this is really rough right here. Let's slow down here. The potholes. Then we get back to the pavement. Now the pavement here is not too bad. It just needs to be uh, patched. Maybe just a new surface put over. Some of it's missing here. And so that is um, the Ellis Ridge Road after MVP. And uh, we got a really bad hole hole there on the corner but I can't see it. So that's it. Hands Creek Road is right there. And we'll more later. I'll get some still pictures when I come back this afternoon.